It's a typical February day in Sweden, snow covered and cold. But here in the old Viking town of Sigtuna, that's not keeping people indoors. Yeah! There is skating, hockey, and a family cookout. And 11 year old Peter is right in the middle of it. It's uh, full of life. It's uh, in quite uh, good humor most of the time. Peter now lives with his aunt and uncle, Ode and Rondi Heyer. To him, their mom and dad. To them, Peter's a gift born out of tragedy. It was a kind of uh, comfort. Is that maybe the right word? But it also reminds me all the time what, what happened. It's ten years ago I be shot in. Yes, shot in the rig and head. In April of 1997, six teenagers shot and killed Peter's father Vidar, mother Delfina, and big sister Tabitha. Two bullets struck Peter, one in his right eye, the other near his spine. Rondi says doctors still aren't sure which one caused the damage. That's made it difficult for Peter to walk. It's recess at Peter's school, and despite the slippery conditions, these children are playing a game of football. Peter leaves behind his wheelchair and joins in. He acts as goalkeeper, playing the part he can in the game he loves. Here is the Juventus. It's a football team, club football team in the Italian. But Peter has plenty of other loves. There are his Legos, his spooky souvenirs. So that's really snakeskin. And his favorite movies. I love Star Wars. Yes, this is a Star Wars ship from episode three. And there's one other thing that's never too far from Peter, his pet pooch, Pepsi. High five. High five, y'all. What Peter may be missing physically, he's made up for in humor and straight to the point honesty. To all the ladies that asked Peter uh, where he was from when he said, I used to live in America, but then they shot me. So I had to move here. <laughs>